In this video, we will show you how to configure your Wise Lister filters and formatting settings. The settings here are used to filter out certain things and keep certain items from posting. The first option is for Vero protection. By default, this is set to on. eBay has a published Vero list located at the URL on the screen. Companies and brands that participate in this published list do not want other people listing their items on eBay and you will get flagged with violations for copyright and trademark violations if caught. But please note on eBay's published list that they state that the list is not comprehensive. There are new companies and brands being added every day and there are many that do not participate in the published list. So it is still possible to receive violations for brands or companies that you do not readily see on the list. Wise Lister allows its users to submit Vero reports to us to let us know about violations they receive from such brands and companies and we will verify and add them to the list that we maintain within our system. In that way, our list is more comprehensive than eBay's. Should you decide to list an item that is otherwise a banned brand or a Vero item, then you can come back in and turn off this setting at a later time. Block Brands is a space where you can enter a company name, brand, or even a keyword. This list will pertain only to you and not all other users. If you add to this list, then WiseLister will prevent you from posting items that have these words in them in their URL, title, or description. For example, most people know that Apple is a Vero brand, but is not on eBay's Vero list. So if you add the word Apple here, you will be prevented from listing anything containing the word Apple. This is helpful for people who have been maintaining their own list of companies they do not want to list from, or if you are selling in a country like UK and can't list knives. You might want to enter knife and knives here so that the lister will prevent you from listing those products. Once you are done, click save. You've now successfully configured your filters and formatting settings. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.